Oh, look at this, Slim Jim. <laughs> I can't fit through that way. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Look at this. I'm just saying to Ant. <laughs> the last time I was here, I leave the car above was. When was it, mate? Jan, January, something like that. Yeah. January, and it was full snow. Near enough whiteout conditions. First time back, travelled a little bit further afield. And it's like this again. So, uh, I think me... You're me, good weather there. Yeah. Everything's good. I think my coat shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> my coat has shrunk. But yeah. Back on the old West Pennine Moors. And look at the weather. What do you think about this, Ant? Snowing. Well, first week of April, I second week of April. To Chris, yep. I'd, um, I'm that way, I live that way. So it's coming. I'm like, oh, I forgot my sunglasses. It looks so nice. It's dead <laughs> bright. Look really warm. Gets up here. Look at it. Weird. Weird weather. And I'm not even going to tell you what I've seen over that hillside. Mate, say it. We like, we like to hear the scary scary oh. tales because it is a strange place this mate yeah it is it is there's, there's lots of lots of law up here and i've just seen so if you guys you, you probably won't it won't register on camera but the hills the hills over there are quite far away so if you saw a normal sized bird it'd be like a dot i was driving up here just round just past the um, the reservoir down there and i'm not joking you it was the size of a pterodactyl, whoosh, like, with a massive wingspan going over the top of the hills. Don't know what it were, weird, really weird. No word of a lie, I'm not lying. <laughs> it was something big. It's the spooky things. Yeah. It was a few months, well, it was ages ago, wasn't it? Six months ago, we, we were up here. I heard this real weird noise just out it was like misty conditions on the top so we're going to be in a bit uh, this right strange noise didn't i yeah you're talking about werewolves and like you know what's that stuff out the book mate the black shuck <laughs> <laughs> the black oh, shuck man. and the boggart <laughs> oh, the boggart tail loved it <laughs> yeah so anyway oh, man. brought you along for this one bit of a change of scenery from local walks and this is going to be the introduction into going back out proper into the lakes, into the mountains, hopefully North Wales. I think Mark Drakeford's letting people in, isn't he, soon? Ah, good. From, uh, from Monday, so yeah. This is the last of the sort of local series for now. And then it'll be getting back out with tents again, resuming normal content. So it's going to be a bit of a poignant one, this, mate. And Reflective. And you know what? It's nice as well because you're finally hooking up with people again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're not just doing it on your own. Yeah. So bit, it is nice, yeah. Bit of normality, mate. Yeah, yeah. Right.
So here we are looking round. And just hear the rescue chopper coming in, mate, up the valley. And there's looks like some more snow heading in, doesn't it? It does. So you can just about make up make out the mass of Winter Hill. Just going into the cloud there. And we're in werewolf territory now, mate. <laughs> Aren't we? We're certainly blooming out. This is where we heard the noise, weren't it? Werewolf territory. It's a cracking route. Stick to the path. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that, that's brilliant that. Don't stray from the path. <laughs> But what's the star on the wall for? I'd love to go to that pub, mate, would you? <laughs> what was it? The, the slaughtered, slaughtered lamb. Yeah, the slaughtered lamb. Oh, man. What a How film. good would it be if we could just walk into the slaughtered lamb now? Like this? Like this. All right, everyone. With a GoPro. Hi, mate, you all right? <laughs> Everybody stops talking. Yeah. Are you what local? What's going on here? <laughs> the slaughtered lamb. That's kind of strange. <laughs> Right, folks, as you can see, more sleet and hail. So this is our end point for this part of the walk. Look at that. Look at the contrasting weather. Really isolated, these showers. Look at that, an ant's pack. You've got a big collection of ice, mate. But yeah, there's Winter Hill. And that's the first part of the walk done. We're just going to have a quick breather here, then we're going to spin round and go back the way we came, albeit all the way to Great Hill. It's good so far, mate, isn't it? Awesome, pal. What do you reckon? Should we get our lunch up there on Great yeah, Hill? Yeah, Great Hill. Yeah. On the, uh, get a nice the, brew going. the summit shelter, get a brew going. Well, yeah. What a day. Atmospheric, isn't it, mate, with this really? weather conditions and really, the changing really weather. It's nice. I think, we're, I think we're seeing more of this though now. Yeah. That's all that loveliness is going out to sea, I think now. Yeah, we've had it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll bring you back. we are the summit of Great Hill and it looks like we've got it to ourselves it doesn't happen very often so we'll save you this moment but it feels good first bit of outdoors for a while and what a day what views what weather great atmosphere to this one we'll have a little bit of something to eat and I'll speak to you in a bit this rucksack wax canvas got it myself pretty much well got all my rucksacks myself Millican 25 litre Fraser they have like names and yeah it's nice traditional got these aluminium buckles and stuff which go into loops nice side pocket is good but look at this look what Ant's got going here look at that <laughs> full table I like that bag as well mate BCB isn't it yeah made by the creators of the crusader there we are 
How good's this? Went to uh, the shops yesterday with my mum. This lovely Cumberland Scotch egg. So I'm going to have that. Some sandwiches in there. I'm just going to sit and enjoy something to eat for 10 minutes or so and then get back on. There we go, folks. Booth's lemon drizzle cake. That, that's number two, mate. A bit of lemon drizzle. Oh, look at that. This is why my uh, pants no longer fit. <laughs> that looks really nice. Yeah. But we don't care. Scotch egg and lemon drizzle cake. Can't and a can of full fat coke. The diet is well and truly underway. <laughs> You'll work that off. You'll work that off the yeah. time we finish. The live stream tonight will do that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Lifting that arm up with all them drinks. Well, just beat the crowds, just beat the masses, um, just avoid the bog. There's a nice little uh, lunch spot there, some kind of walking group just turned up en masse. I was going to join one of them one day, but I'll have to see. Might meet Mrs. MCM. Joins a few hiking groups and stuff. Um, but that was nice. It was a nice lunch spot. Very cold, chill. And we're looking out towards Yorkshire. Um, West Yorkshire. You can see the hail sleet showers coming down Bullsworth, Pendle lovely absolutely lovely what a day out so far in the great outdoors <laughs> it was nice, we love that Now you can see Roddlesworth Woods, Bullsworth, rain showers over Pendle, and the final, probably, that is probably going to be the last wintry scene that you see on the channel this season. That bit of snow, maybe the last time you see it for this, you know, season of videos. I just want to thank everyone who's stuck with the channel over lockdown. It's a struggle trying to get content out. I appreciate there being some kind comments saying don't worry about it, but you know, I like to try and keep things reasonably interesting, and it's been a bit of a struggle in that regard, content wise. So, thanks for the patience. Um, our normal service is going to resume from Monday because of course we can stay overnight and the restrictions are, are lifting so I'm looking forward to that I'm looking forward to having my tent up in the garden the other day just checking them all over bit of a MOT kind of thing I'm making sure I'm good to go while camping so I'm very excited and I'm pleased that you know the content on the channel is going to re return to normal so thanks, and um, yeah, normal service, going to resume soon. I'm going to wait till we get a bit further round out of the wind, and we'll say goodbye on this one. And I'll leave you with a few words to help you look forward to the mountains as the outro. I'll speak to you in a minute, just before I say goodbye. Take two. <laughs> right everyone, I'm going to leave you with some outro um, all about adventures into the mountains which you've all been waiting for for a long time now so very much well deserved, we've all done great and I'm looking forward to getting to the higher places so I'm going to leave you with that in the meantime, thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it, give it a quick thumbs up and if you're on Instagram, so is MCM Outdoors 
come and follow us on there as well if you want. Likewise, there's a Facebook group, All Things Outdoors, friendly, welcoming environments, which Ant is kindly a moderator in. So head over there if you want any tips and advice and you just want to get involved with some friendly outdoors banter. That's a good place to go. Yes, yeah. Check out Ant's channel if you haven't already. I'm sure that many that watch mine do also watch Ant's as well, but in case there's anyone new, I'll leave a link to Ant's channel uh, in the description box below. Go and enjoy the outdoor places, look after it, leave no trace. Of course, we all know that anyway, but let's just spread the message uh, and look after these outdoor places. I'll leave you with the outro, and I'll see you on the next video, which will involve a tent and some higher terrain. Yay. See you on the next one, everyone. Take care. We're back. <laughs> back outdoors. Surely there is no other place in this whole wonderful world quite like Lakeland. No other so exquisitely lovely. No other so charming, no other that calls so insistently across a gulf of distance. All who truly love Lakeland are exiles when away from it. Here in small space is the wonderland of childhood's dreams, lingering far beyond childhood through the span of a man's life. Its enchantment grows with passing years and quiet eventide is enriched by the haunting sweetness of dear memories. Memories that remain evergreen through the flight of time, that refresh and sustain in the darker days. How many these memories, the moment of wakening, and the sudden joyful realization that this is to be another day of freedom on the hills. The dawn chorus of bird song, the delicate lacework of birches against the sky, morning sun drawing aside the veils of mist, black stocking lambs in springtime amongst the daffodils, silver cascades dancing and leaping down bracken steeps, autumn colours, a red fox running over snow, the silence of lonely hills, storm and tempest in the high places, and the unexpected glimpses of valleys dappled in sunlight far beneath the swirling clouds rain and the intimate shelter of lichen walls, fierce winds on the heights and soft breezes that are no more than gentle caresses. A sheepdog watches its master, the snow and ice and freezing stillnesses of midwinter, a white world, rosy pink as the sun goes down, the supreme moment when the top cairn comes into sight at last, only minutes away after the long climb. The small ragged sheep that brave the blizzards. The symphonies of murmuring streams unending with never a discord. Curling smoke from the chimneys of the farm down below amongst the trees where the day shall end. Oil lamps in flag kitchens. Huge fires in huge fireplaces. Huge suppers. Glittering moonlight on placid waters stars above dark peaks. The tranquility that comes before sleep when thoughts are of the day that is gone and the day that is to come. All these memories and so many more, breathing anew the rare quality and magical atmosphere of Lakeland. Memories that belong to Lakeland and could not belong in the same way to any other place. Memories that enslave the mind forever.